Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back for more Kingdom Hearts Reverse Rebirth. Even though it does show Sora right here, but um, I was actually practicing with Riku, so um, we're going to go ahead and get started on Riku's story now. Because I know in the last video it showed Riku, but um, I wanted to practice with him. This is going to be interesting. Now, Riku's gameplay is a lot different from Sora's. Um, it's the same kind of gameplay, of course, the card system and all that, but it's it's a little bit different. You'll see after this cutscene. Where am I? It's like nothingness to me. Stay asleep. Huh? Who's there? I, I know that voice. You should remain asleep. Here, between light and dark. Between what? Oh. Huh? The king! Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness. After that? You came drifting here by yourself. You did not have the strength to overcome the darkness. Or maybe you were close to it. <laughs> As if I'm some kind of demon. <laughs> Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. Here, blanketed by the darkness, sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. But... Oh. A car magically appears. Oh. What's this? It is a door to the truth. Take it and your sleep ends as you take the first step toward the truth. But know this, the truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? Well, I don't have a choice. There is no return to the security of sleep. That's a Hall of Bastion. This seemed like a boring place to take a nap anyway. That was very well said, Riku. Oh. Ah, uh, uh, we're in the uh, Castle uh, Oblivion. Now, Riku's um, story, he goes downstairs instead of upstairs. So he's going the exact opposite of what Sora was going upstairs. Stuff explanatory. A door to the truth, huh? So that's why we're going to Hollow Bastion first. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what's the difference between Riku and from Sora. So, alright, I'm going to show you real quick. Alright. So now, as you can see, you can't customize your cards. So, every world that you go through, your cards will change. So, um, you're just stuck with these cards right now. And of course, you have your high potion. I'll show you, yeah, the stats. You have attack power, and you also have dark power, which is for later. Can't do anything about that. All right, so let's go to Hall of Bastion. Now, Riku's story is a lot more shorter than Sora's is because the worlds are a little bit smaller, and well, we still gotta follow what's going on in each world, though. Oh, wait, random text come out of nowhere. Must be that voice again. You notice Riku already instantly remembered Hollow uh, Hollow Bastion.
Yeah, so this voice is going to be following you throughout the whole game. Alright, so let's do the same as usual. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of level grinding here, actually, because, you know, from the start of the game, you're going to be level grinding like crazy. So, Hello, Bastion. Again. All right, here's the map. Not so big. All right, so let's go fight Heartless. Okay. Now, as you can see, that black thing right next to my attack card, that's the uh, charge up. It's actually instant for uh, Riku, instead of charging up one, two, and three, or whatever. But you have to be very careful with using cards, though, because you can't customize them. So yeah, I, see, I can see it's instant. Because when you fight a boss later in the game, you're kind of screwed. You're out. You're like completely out of cards. So yeah, already a level up. All right, so I'm gonna show you what level up. You can up your HP. You can also up your attack and also up your darkness, which is for later. So we'll up our attack. Now you can't up your attack every single level up. It only happens occasionally, actually. There's no special rooms for Riku, by the way, because uh, there's a, you saw no blue thing on the screen on the map. All right, up his HP. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff uh, left out for Riku. All right, it's gonna be a lot of editings, of course. Okay, I'll just attack again. Okay, that should be all of them. Um, what I'm going to be doing at the second I enter this room, I'm going to be stopping the video, and then I'm going to be leveling up, and I'm going to start doing that with Riku because his story is real short. Plus, he doesn't have very many cards like uh, Sora does. It cuts down by half. Like, he doesn't have the treasures. He doesn't have the Moogle. Like, it's really cut down a lot. So, as you can see, it's only just those uh, plot rooms. There's no special rooms for Riku. It would have been cool. Yeah, that's his, that's his role right there. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be level grinding quite a bit, and then I'll meet you back in a certain room, kind of like this room, but in a different other area. So I'll be covering all the rooms, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Covered everything, and we're just going to move on with the plots now. I'm at level 9, and uh, should be good to go. Alright, so these cutscenes are going to be like, you know, you talking to the voice and stuff like that. Giving you hints where to go, telling you memories and all that stuff. It's really interesting how Riku's story is a lot different from Sora's. The worlds are the same, though. The only world that you can't go with Riku is the Wii and the Pooh world, thank God, because that world is just brutal. Yeah, the stories are a lot shorter for uh, Riku and the uh, each world that you go to. Of course, the outside worlds, when it's cutscenes, it's, you know, normal. You're going to be seeing quite interesting bosses we're going to be fighting outside the worlds. That Sora never encountered. This is really cool. You actually get to play as Riku for the first time ever in a Kingdom Hearts game.
get to know about his story. Oops, that was a fail jump. Yeah, I got a lot more cards cards now, and also got the random card. Also, you can't have platinum cards with Riku, which actually kind of sucks, but oh well. He has no CB points. No roulette room card for Riku. I mean, it's really cut down a lot. Like, he only has, uh, you know, when you level up, you have your HP, your attack, and then your darkness. Darkness is really cool. We'll get to that in the next world. It was... It makes Riku, like, badass, actually. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of dark involved. I think we all know who the boss is going to be. This is the part where, like, Riku, like, um, got taken over by Ansem. And, of course, Maleficent was using him as a pawn. I'm going to be recording a lot of Riku's uh, story because his is a lot more shorter, like I said. So after I'm done finishing Riku's story mode, I'm going to be taking a break on uh, uh, RPG games for a while. Just do some platformers and stuff like that. Because I've been doing a lot of like RPGs for quite a while now. Also the Let's Race series as well. I'm going to start getting... Getting that going whenever I can. But we just started Riku's story, so we got quite a ways to go. Can we fight, please? <laughs> That's the whole point for me coming here. Alright, Dark Dragon. Okay. As you can see, when I did the stock, he has, like, no, uh, name it, like, special abilities yet. It's until I get Darkness. When I get the abilities. Yeah, this boss is very easy. You need to be careful though, because you don't want to get your cards like completely countered, and you, you lose those cards like that. You know. As 
you can see I have very few cards now. It's over. But there will be other bosses where they're just really, really annoying to take out. But we do get the boss cards, though. You can still be able to use the boss cards by pressing select. But it's automatic, though, which is actually cool for Riku's deck because it's automatic. You have all the boss cards in your deck because you have no CB points. Okay. See, Hollow Bastion's already done. Well, this is, what, this is the first world of, of Riku's story, though. Alright, guys, so next time we will be seeing what actually happens and see who that voice is, because that voice, we all know who that voice is from, but. Alright, this is gonna be a very interesting storyline for Riku, so. Alright, guys, peace out.